with a decade of drought right. and now more water than they can handle. It's, uh, we should get a little bit at a time, but it doesn't work that way in the West. Here, cold weather is coming, and if you've got to be doing something outside on Wednesday, I give it a Ranby factor of four. A little unpleasant for the day as a whole. The best part of the day, 8, 9, 10 in the morning, where the temperatures may actually be above freezing. A little snow here on live Super Doppler 7 radar. There were a couple of flurries earlier in the metro. This precipitation edging east and northeast, and there's a warm front lifting on across the area. A little upper level disturbance, too. So there's that, and then there's this. You see this swirl out here? This is forecast to take its time, get caught in the jet stream, move into the southwest, prolong the rains down there, then eventually move into the nation's midsection, producing snow and rain. Now the GFS, the American computer model, brings a little bit of snow into the area Friday and then more to the west of us here, western Kansas and central Nebraska. But it brings a lot of moisture our way. This is the impact of moisture, and it suggests nearly an inch of moisture, but not much of that with snow, which means it's either going to be rain or freezing rain. Temperatures will be right around 32. This is the GFS computer model's ice forecast. So by midday Sunday, not much will have happened, but starting to occur to the south of us, and that moves northward. An indication of through Sunday night and Monday, a quarter to a half inch of ice in the area. That would be bad. That would be a lot more than we had this morning. Now, that's not set in stone, but that's an idea of what some of our computer models are suggesting there for Sunday, particularly the evening Sunday night, and Monday, Martin Luther King Day. Temperatures above freezing in the morning, falling in the afternoon tomorrow. 29 now, winds have turned to the east-southeast, and temperatures actually will rise a bit overnight. 36 and 25 today, it was just 12 hundredths of an inch of rain and freezing rain this morning. So you can imagine three to four times that. That's a possibility for Sunday into Monday. Above freezing for a time today, now down slightly below freezing. And that's true of much of the viewing area. Beatrice is still 33, but a lot of spots in the 20s, northeast Nebraska, western Iowa, where there are some flurries. Again, this warm front is lifting on through, taking those flurries with it. Here comes this Arctic cold front. 8 a.m. tomorrow is not here yet. Pretty mild for a couple of hours in the morning. Then the north winds start blowing late morning. The afternoon temperatures fall. Could get a few flurries or a little patch of light snow to come through tomorrow night. And then more cold air comes southward and some clouds mixed in here on Thursday. Very chilly weather. Here's the forecast for tonight. 28 the low. We were already there. Temperatures rising a bit overnight. 34 by 8 a.m. A decent start. The afternoon colder. North winds picking up 15 to 30, 25 degrees by 3, down to 18 by 6 tomorrow, and 10 on Thursday morning. Slight chance of some light snow overnight Wednesday night. Again, possibly briefly on Friday. Look at the cold temperatures. And then it's that moisture. Again, the computer model suggests half an inch to an inch oh of moisture with temperatures near freezing. We want 34. We don't want 32 because that